We're gonna be on Daybreak, so has chosen it. It's the official version. And Rob, uh, I, Robin, yeah. I like things that are official. Like, yeah, like yeah. When I went to New York, um, they uh, they said there was official, authentic New York and pizza at the airport, and it was not a at pizza. the airport. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't uh, real. It was the worst pizza I ever had in my life. So I'm I'm hoping that when I visit New York pretty soon, that I will uh, get to uh, try some real pizza. But guys, really quick before we get the introductions down, you can vote for your favorite players here at Playham. Go to ws slash poll we also have the play ham bot that is posting the link as well click that bad boy let us know who your fan favorite is we'll go ahead and uh, read it off in a couple minutes after we get these introductions busted out by froden once again in the top right we have the man who just showed i mean in game number one he showed strong macro play with two quick command centers after his barracks and factory so shown his macro style and in game number two he showed that he is capable of the one base all in play if you're not careful he is Dragon, and he is part of Homo Gaming. And in the bottom line, he's not part of Homo no, Gaming. No, guys. <laughs> There's no such oh, team. Although, trouble, what are you talking about? Oh, my God. in trouble. In the bottom left, it says Rox Taro, but it is actually Slayer So, the coach from Slayers, the man with the sexy Korean accent. I actually really like listening to him. There's a video of him on YouTube. Talking about how he, he loves eating cheeseburgers and it is absolutely <laughs> There's a video hilarious. on YouTube from for everything. Him yeah. singing is amazing. I and love it, man. you know, Sella <laughs> definitely has to win this game. But yes, guys, for those of you who are wondering, it is the official Sella on the official map of GSL Daybreak. And how do I know it's official? Because it's, it's on it's a, Facebook. Oh, that's and right. Facebook makes everything official. Exactly. Exactly. That's yeah. why I'm a rebel, man. I don't. Uh, I don't accept relationship requests. I say not now. I declined them. Uh, drone on the way, gonna go ahead and scout. And again, like last time, uh, when Solo was playing on dual site, he, he really liked scouting after the his first initial drone. I would really like him to scout a little bit better this time. Even in the last game, Dragon actually had all his units sitting on the ramp. If a Ling scout would have came in, Solo would have been ready for that uh, play, no problem whatsoever. And unfortunately, just scouting really killed him off. Uh, it felt like he was trying to go for some kind of meta game play, assuming that Terran was gonna go and expand after the reactor Hellions. But this is Dragon Man. He's creative. Ooh. He's a baller. Ooh, gets an SCV kill. That always feels good, man. It, it always does, feels good. man. It's, it's always like getting your favorite popsicle from the ice cream, man. You just, it's like, yes. Victory. <laughs> That's what it feels like, man. Yeah, getting man. the ice cream on a hot 95 degree weather day. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and steal his gas. So not only did he get his favorite ice cream, but he stole another oh, kid's ice cream. Trifling, man. Straight up. Uh, two Marines now going to come out here. And you can go ahead and cancel this gas if you would like to. Rebuild it once again. Going to need a total of uh, three Marines to kill that off. But no, the drone will be killed off by those two Marines. And at this point, we have Factory going down from Dragon. So similar build to gain number one. And checking over into uh, Sela. He did the same build as well. 15 hatchery into a spawning pool. This time, though, uh, delaying his gas until right now when I say that. I was, was going to go for maybe a fast third. But I'm uh, going to go and get his gas now. Grab that speed. It's really, really important, actually, to have gas. Uh, against tearing compared to uh, against a protoss you can get away with grabbing a faster third there's really no threat of really uh fast aggression as dragon is actually uh expanding right now down at his uh his base over here at his natural yeah and you know what's so great about this build is that it looks identical to the builds that he has been doing i mean of course Sela does not necessarily know about this command center but the whole idea is Sela expected dragon to go for an expansion the way he was uh, building right now with a command center after his reactor uh, factory. And he was expecting that on dual site, and yet for some reason, I mean, Dragon called him out and sniffed it and was able to say, I think you're going for a really greedy bit, uh, greedy build, I'm going to punish you. Now, I like the small things that Dragon's doing as well, using that barracks for sight and killing off that overlord, but that also does indicate that maybe Dragon wants to utilize less of his barracks although he is going to go ahead and float it back to make a tech lab so normally when Terran float that barracks it also is a sign they want to go for something maybe mech based and that can also confuse Sela a little bit more yeah definitely uh it's always cool to kill off an overlord as well against a zerg player it's, it's such a pain in the rear uh and zerg players hate it so darn much it's it just an extra hundred resources you gotta throw towards an overlord <laughs> you might be supply block stop laughing i know they're looking at my stuff right <laughs> i need to get rid of it third command center on the way i hate you so much you know that right like if i wasn't casting for you right now i would not be talking to you uh hellion's now retreating here there's four heading to the natural uh, one does get in the red from the three roaches that still did pop out and i like his build 
uh, his early build actually, getting the Roach Warren, getting three Roaches out. Three Roaches are good against a lot of things, uh, a lot of Marine early attacks, uh, and good for delaying these Hellions and not allowing them to get into any damage. Because the Dragon does commit to going to the Natural and try to kill off a couple of drones, the three Roaches will be there, and he might actually lose all map presence on the, uh, from his Hellions being killed off. So, uh, three Roach opening, the, it's really, really good here. And this time, actually, Dragon is going to go ahead and follow up with the Bailing Nest as well. I love that play at the same time. Uh, but again, Dragon grabbing this fast third is so uh, uh, aware of it. He actually sure is. So uh, he might actually go for a two base all in with. Uh, does he have two gases? Yes, he have two gases. He might go for a Ling Bailing Roach all in, which uh -oh. is really, really strong. He has to worry about these three Hellions lighting it up, though. And these two queens will deny any further movement towards the drones. But oh man, looks like he's going to go ahead into the main. Now he scoured the Bailing Nest and he's going to see the Roach Warren as well. So that is great information from these Hellions. And of course, the icing on the cake is that these Hellions, of course, are picking off some drones. And by that, I mean they are going to target the queen. So Dragon, of course, he's got everything out of his need with those Hellions. Uh, at the same time, looks like the Roaches are harassing this command center here, trying to see if he can stall it from ever being produced. Now Dragon, because he the things he saw, for example, he saw two geysers, he saw no third, no layer. So he said, okay, I gotta get bunkers up at this point. So he's reading his opponent's build, which is fantastic. Sela has officially stopped droning. So if, if he's gonna go for a timing, he's gonna go for it very, very soon, just because his economy's gonna fall too behind if he lets Dragon macro off two bases here. So looks like Dragon forced to cancel the expansion at the bottom right. And we're gonna see whether or not Sela can make this timing work. He's got 10 roaches on the way, so you can guarantee it's gonna be a very strong timing coming up here. You know, I feel like it was really, really great there of Sela to force that cancel. I don't think he needs to commit to the Roachling All-In that uh, might be ensuing. Uh, just for the fact that he canceled that third, which means he'll be okay in economy if he expands right now. But it looks like he wants to go ahead and do it. Uh, six Roaches now on the field. Great scout here from Dragon with the Hellions, getting an idea of what is coming. He knows that a huge number of units are on their way. He's got Siege Mode about to complete, though, so he should be a-okay. He's got a nice supply depot and a wall, nice and set up. Got a uh, oh my gosh, yeah, he's got a lot of spidey bows there. That's just there to buff a lot of damage that'll be coming here uh, from Sully. He's got a bunker up, got the siege tanks out as well, so it's in siege mode, ready to go. Got a few marines, has level 1 infantry weapons, uh, about halfway done. They might not be here in time, but uh, he's pretty fortified. Uh, if Sully can't break through this, uh, potentially he's going to be super behind and not be able to win the game. Yeah, I'm actually really confused that Sela yeah. is pulling back right now. But it looks like he's actually just waiting for some Zerging. Okay, there it is. So he's actually going to wait for a lot of Banelings here to finish morphing. 14 to be exact. Now, 14. I mean, there's a lot of supply depots here. Dragon's he could, really on He could break a wall. Yeah. Bottom right corner. He had enough splash damage to actually kill off three supply depots, get himself a little bit of a wall. Lings will pour in and Roaches will follow up as well. Uh, but he's got to make sure that the Banelings don't go down. He does actually have the not nice and group up. There we go. Breaking on in. The Banelings are stuck behind the Roaches, though. Oh, no. Here we go. Heading on in. Finally, the bunker does get killed off. Roaches constantly moving on in. They are clumped up for that siege tank. Two siege tanks doing a lot of damage here. And it looks like Dragon will be holding his supply block. Uh, but he holds for the moment. A third siege tank does pop on out. There is a few Marines links heading on their way on in. Uh, but I think uh, Dragon's got enough to hold it, man. I think he's got it. Yeah, and you know, Sela clumped his roaches just like he said. He tried to go through the very front of the wall instead of through this very... You know, this is probably the chink in the armor, if you will. Dragon's one weakness, his Achilles heel. He could have been exposed to that one supply depot wall. Now, we do see Sela is transitioning by getting gases, getting his third base. Finally starting to tech to lair and his second evil chamber. So he's harvesting lots of gas for tech purposes. But at the same time, we do see Dragon expanding to the bottom right, trying to be a sneaky little slithering snake. And he's continuing to wall up here. He still feels uncomfortable. Well, at the same time, though, he is selling his bunker, so very conflicting things that he's doing. But I guess right now he's trying to be as safe as possible while trying to macro up. Because right now, I mean, he's also trying to grab a fourth base. Oh my goodness, actually. So he is yeah. actually trying to double expand here, Dragon. Well, he's, he's in the lead right now. Uh, third went up in the top left corner uh, for Sela at the moment. And, uh, well, you know what? Drones did just pop out, so he's ahead to 253, but the two mules do offset that. Uh, Dragon is just in a great position at the moment. Supply 88 to 81. Uh, I think he could be okay actually grabbing this fourth. He's actually got it floating down here in the bottom right quarter. Overlord is aware of it, uh, as he will be scouting that with that low HP, and it looks like it finally will be going down as the fourth command center will be landing. But, uh, again... Sneaking that third, Sela might be thinking, okay, he's just got his third base up. I should be A-OK, -okay. but uh, if Sela doesn't go for a huge attack pretty soon, um, which he's got 16 lanes on the way, he might be wanting to get aggressive. Uh, eventually, Dragon's going to soar an economy and really just be able to destroy 
uh, still going into the late game. So, uh, Dragon, now going to have some wings to deal with pretty soon. It looks like they might be heading into the natural. Maybe some Balings down here in the bottom right corner are going to be morphing on in. No, just to run by uh, heading into the natural at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Dragon does have a pretty hefty supply lead, and it looks like we do see so. Doing a little minor Zergling run by, but great positioning on these Marines Ooh. just to really make sure that nothing happened. Looks like we do have another counterattack here out on the outer expansion here of Dragon, but he's got his tanks spread. He's got the siege, he's got the siege tanks at the Zelnaga Cav or the Zelnaga Tower, excuse me. And of course, he's taking a very strong defensive position. This this base in the bottom right also has not been discovered either, so Sela does not know that Dra Dragon's actually on four bases right now. That so, hurts, man. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Dragon's in a very, very strong advantage. Well, uh, you know what? I like what Sela was trying to do there. He was trying to get a run by with a few lings into the natural and maybe force Dragon to pull back his units, and then he would kill off maybe a couple mules and some SCVs at the third, but uh, again, at the moment, Dragon just has so much more stuff than Scylla and really was able to have his units in position to defend against both those counterattacks. And again, those are just lings that are dead there for Scylla. Uh, a drop on the way, heading into the main. There is an Overlord here, so Scylla uh, should be able to prepare for it. There's a Queen there as well, so uh, maybe one Overlord will go down. If Dragon focuses it, no, he's going to go ahead and pick up his units and run on out. But now Mutas have joined the fray, and they're going to be able to maybe clean up this medevac. Uh, Marines being dropped off. Dragon's going to try and get a trade off. And no, it's Maiko there from Scylla will be killing off or uh, saving one Muta, but at the same time, a huge push going in the top left corner. A lot of Marines going to try and snipe this hatchery. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Dragon just using that medevac as a distraction, pulling his, his attention away just so he can take out this hatchery. Now, that is still a lot of Marines, but at the same time, Marines pretty replenishable, so he's going to go ahead and fight this. He doesn't have Stim, though. Stim is still a good yeah. 60 seconds away, so looks like Cell is going to go ahead and fight them, realizing the Marines don't have Stim, but... During this whole time, again, Dragon expanding again. He's on five bases at this point, Robin, and that's an incredible amount of mules as well because he's got four of them. Actually, well, he's going to eventually convert that one, but he's going to have four of them as Orb of Commands, and that is going to be an insane amount of income. And look at this. I love Dragon putting up turrets, putting up uh, sensor towers as well just to completely put his position here in the middle of the map and of course if Terran can just slowly take half the map here there's nothing Zerg can really do especially if they're going to send constant marines harassing your bases here yeah, Dragon also had a Viking floating around the map. He killed off three overlords with it, with it as well. That couple, that forces a couple things. One, Scylla to be really antsy of looking at his map, making sure uh, to watch out for that Viking. Uh, he actually had his Mews finally cleaned it up, but three overlords were killed off, which is kind of annoying. At the same time, Lean's going to run here to the planetary fortress. Mew's trying to dive it as well. Uh, the SCP pair will be going down on the missile turret there. I like the twist rather than the command center. It's a little more buffery. Uh, can now take out a couple of Mews. I actually think two Mews died there. Uh, and Planetary Forge is clean up at the Lings as well. At the same time, Marines pushing in the top left corner. Dragon is kind of playing in a Zerg-like style. He's spanning all over the place and just kind of multitasking, really trying to force their opponent to be all over the place, and Cell is just not able to keep up. Oh, man, he's also got a Thor oh, Marine dear. tank <laughs> army in the middle. That is absolutely fearsome. He's 175 supply, and Dragon... Looking like it is his year to celebrate indeed, man. The Chinese Zodiac definitely got something right, showing a lot of strength. Good game is called, as Sulla does concede game number three here in this best of seven. And Dragon goes out with a very comfortable, squishy, soft, and very, very silky 3-0 lead.